As a PCI committee member, you already know that change is made through committees and councils by utilizing the knowledge and expertise that you bring to the table. This video will show you how to use Committee Central to keep connected to the committee through the document library and how to vote on letter ballots. After signing into Committee Central, find your committees faster and easier by opening the new My Committees section in the upper right corner using the drop-down arrow. All of the councils and committees that you're a member of will be shown on the right. Select the committee you want to access. Scroll to the Work Folders PCI section to view the meeting agendas, approved and unapproved minutes, draft documents, committee correspondence, and new business folders. Click the plus sign to open a folder. Meeting minutes and agenda folders are listed by the date of the meeting with the newest on top. Click the plus sign on a subfolder to view the documents. Click the document link to open the file. Only members of a committee have access to that committee's document library. Next, we'll cover how to vote on a letter ballot. The right navigation pane on any committee page will show the My Committees box. If there's an open ballot on any of your committees, the committee link will have a number in parentheses next to it. If a vote is required, you will see an asterisk next to the number. Click the link to be redirected to the committee that needs your vote. The Open Web Ballots will always appear in the first section under the committee name. Open Ballots will be listed by title and date they close. To vote, click the Vote Now link. The ballot window will show the ballot title, description, the start date, and the date the ballot will close. If there are any documents pertinent to the ballot, they will be linked as attached files. To view the documents individually, simply click the file name. If there are multiple files, you can download them all to your computer. Ballots may also contain more than one item to vote on. When you're ready to vote, you have several options. One, vote affirmative to everything. Two, abstain from everything. Or three, vote on ballot items individually. To vote on items individually, click the link in the yellow box. Click a radio button to cast your vote for this item. Add your comments for each item and attach files if appropriate to back up your comments. When finished, click the Cast Vote button to be directed back to the ballot page to select the next item. When your vote is cast, the yellow box will turn green. When you go back to the committee page, you'll notice the Vote Now link has changed to You Voted. You can edit your vote at any time until the ballot closes by clicking the You Voted link. Congratulations on successfully voting on a committee ballot. Find more instructional videos on the PCI Member Resources page and PCI YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and remember to visit PCI.org for the latest news and updates.